We'll guide you through how to download your Minecraft world from Apex Hosting. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. You may just want to download the world as a backup, or maybe you want to go and play the world just offline. We'll show you how. Let's get started. A big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already got your Apex server, then go to the link in the pinned comment or the description and you'll be taken right here. Apex has got so many awesome benefits like one click mod packs, instant setup, automated backups, a powerful panel, and so many other awesome features. I literally use it myself. And also there's 50% off monthly plans at the moment. So if you haven't already got your server, then use the links below. And if you already do, and after you've got the server, then just come to the Apex homepage and go to the top right and click on panel. And this will take you to your server panel. You'll need to go and log into your panel account. You've been sent these details in an email when you first set up your server and then go to the top right again and you can click on your servers. So I've just got the one here, so it's pretty simple for me. And then what we need to do is scroll down. And as you can see, we can see the world here. And it's important to note that you may have gone and created more worlds. And that does mean there's going to be multiple world files. So we need to make sure we download the right one. Before we get any further, you need to go and stop your server. So go and press stop and this will turn it off. So just wait for it to stop. The server has now stopped. And then what you need to do is go over to the left and we need to press on FTP file access, just like this. And then you may need to go and enter your password, but it does say you can leave it empty. So I'll try leaving it empty and it's let me in. And now your different worlds are going to be in here. You're going to see your world names amongst these other folders. So my one is here is Forge. And then I've got MC121 and then MC121 as well. So if you've got a lot of different worlds and they're going to be sort of spread among here. Um, so yeah. Find the world you want to download. In this case, for me, it's this one here. So when what you need to do is go and select it by pressing on the uh, checkbox like this and then go to the top right and go and press on zip because we need to zip it to download it. So make sure it's selected and then press zip. And then it says what do you want to save it as? I'm just going to name this as download world just so I know what it is and then press submit. And then it's going to go and zip the file. Just wait. And it will send the command and then you can just press back in the top left. And if I scroll down, I can then see the file download world zip. I can head over to the right and go and click on download. So it should it will go and take a moment to start the download. And it now is. And then what we can do is go off our browser and we can open up our file explorer and go to our downloads. Here is the file here. So then what we want to do is just go and drag it onto our desktop. And we now need to go and unzip it. So double click on it. Then double click into the folder here and you want to click on extract all like this. And then what you want to do is go and click on extract just like this. And now it's going to make this new folder. Now it's important to note that the folder is here. When you go and double click on it, it then opens into another folder. What's important is when you open the folder, it goes straight into the files. So therefore we need to drag this folder out like this. And now when we go and click on this here, we get straight into the files. So now what we can do is go and install this to our Minecraft. I'll delete the other ones here. Now we need to add this to Minecraft. So come to the bottom of Windows and click on the search button and type in run. And then in the bottom left, go and type in percentage update to percentage and press OK. And it will then open up our files here. Go into dot Minecraft at the top and then you need to locate saves. So scroll down and here they are saves. And then what you want to do is go and drag the world we just unzipped into this folder here. And just like that, it's now in there. And then what we want to do is go and run Minecraft. Also, it's worth running your version of Minecraft in the same version that the world is running just to avoid things getting corrupted and broken. So to do that, you just press on installations at the top here, press on new installation, and you can then choose the version of what you want to run it in. So let's say you want to run it in 1.18, select that there. You can then name it something. I'll just name it that as example. Press create and then click on play and you can then find it from the list here. However, mine is already 1.20.1, so that's fine. Here we are in Minecraft, so I can then press on single player and here it is, the world's at the top. Obviously, you may need to scroll down to find it, but you can just, you know the name of it, so find it and press play selected world and it will then load. And here we are, as you can see, it's remembered everything, even my heart and my uh, amount of food as well. So that's it, guys. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.